Hello ladies and gentlemen, wonderful to have you here on today's video on this beautiful English afternoon. Now you probably help, couldn't help but notice the ridiculously small Christmas hat on top of my head. Um, that is because today we are going to be filming a little bit of a Christmassy video. As it is getting up to Christmas, I thought that would be quite appropriate. So, today what we shall be making is, we have got some roughly two and a half, three inches long of 10 millimeter round bar. That was some off cuts for the grill that we were going to make for the barbecue. Haven't done that yet, but we will do. Um, so we've got those off cuts. We are going to make some icicles for Christmas de tree decorations from them. Um, and we've got some little red ribbon and we're going to be covering it in some basic vegetable oil that you can buy from your local shop. <laughs> so. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, so if you are a blacksmith and you have been looking for Christmas videos on YouTube, um, it's getting pretty close to Christmas now, so I'm going to try and make this pretty snappy. So all we're going to do is just file off any burrs around the edges of this piece of 10mm rebar. There you go, we've got a little bit on the top here. File it nice and clean so it's not easy to forge. There you go. Now we're going to stick this in the forge. Uh, we're going to get some paper, and I only have one hand. Which there you go. Get some paper, stick it in the forge. Get the lighter, and light the paper if it will light. Ah, cool. Wait for that to catch a bit of flame and light her up. Right, so we're going to start off. Oh, if that knocks the camera, I apologise. We're going to start off tapering. Make this a very long taper. We're going to have a not so, uh, going to have quite a dull tip on it. So we're just going to heat it up and draw this out. Then we can round it off, and then we can um, isolate this down for the loop at the top. Again, just tape this down. Now we need to put a little bit of a dull tip on there. So now you can break these Bring these edges down. Try and make a nice eight sided taper. And I'm just hammering on each eight sides. Just trying to get a nice even eight sided taper ready. Round of the um, last taper ready to be rounded off. There you go. So there you go, nice eight sided taper there. So we're going to stick it back in the forge and nicely round it off. There you go. What we're going to do is start from the tip. Nice little taps. You don't need to go wild on it. Just so you're dulling all the edges down. Nice 
tricycle, what we're going to do, just go back down it, last the turns, and a couple of harder blows, and that will just rough it up a little bit. So you haven't got any particular sides to it, you should say it's a little bit roughy tufty so it's not quite so clean like um, this bit all bumpity like an icicle. So now what we're going to do is flip it over, and we're going to stick this end in the forge, and we're going to isolate it down. Up and pick it up. Yeah. We're going to isolate it down on the morning amber first, and we're going to draw this material. Yeah. We're going to draw this material out, and that will loop over to create the loop where we're going to put the ribbon in, so then we can hang it on the tree. So you're going to stick this in the forge and we'll get to drawing it out. Now we're just going to use the edge of the angle, near edge, taper, or sorry, not isolate this material. Nicely down. So we've only got a select section of material being thinned down this out then we can blend everything in so we're starting to get that nice isolation through there so I'll get you up a little bit higher in the next shot so that you can see exactly what I'm doing from here. It'll be a little bit clearer. So again, what we're doing isolating the material down. What we can do is use this, uh, this thicker side of the horn of the anvil. It focuses. There you go. Horn of the anvil. And if we need to, then we can take some more material from here and use that to draw it out as well. But what we're going to do is continue drawing this out, make it a little bit thinner, um, so it's not too thick, and then we have a little bit more material to work with. And if we need to, then we can just take some more material from this back piece here. There. Yeah. As it gets thinner, remember, it's going to get easier to forge and also cool down and heat up quicker. We're just taking a little bit more material from this back piece here, just off the edge of the horn of the anvil, so it blends in nicely. Don't forget when you're drawing this out, it will also make it longer. Even, oh sorry, no, when you're rounding, <laughs> when you're rounding the bits off, it'll make it longer. Ever so slightly. So now, we've got a nice, decent amount of material there. So what we're going to do is focus. What we're going to do is bring down the corners, round the whole thing off. That'll draw it out and make it thinner. Um, and then we can loop it over for the loop at the top. Horn of the amp just to keep that nice transition and just bring those corners down and start rounding everything off. Notice how it's ever so slightly getting smaller as I'm forging it, as I'm rounding it off, it's still drawing out and getting thinner. So, if you're doing something like this, take that into account 
Um, just in case you go too small, um, and then you start rounding it off, and then you end up again going too small. Now just cleaning up that transition. Tidy it up, make sure it's nice and straight. So now we can put a penny scroll on this end and then use the point of the anvil and the scrolling pliers that we've made and bend the loop round. Again. Over pulling it back, tightest. There you go. So we've got a nice penny scroll on there. So now, what we can do is we're going to cool that tip off so we don't damage it. You can, we, you can use the horn of the anvil, and what we're going to do is bend at the very start of that taper there. Far side, clean it all up. What that'll do is now we can use these scrolling pliers, uh, bend this tip over, and then that'll make a nice loop. Right, so again, use these scrolling pliers, and we bend this rounds a bit. Right, done a little bit. Enough. <laughs> right, that's fine. I'm just going to cut that penny scroll off. Now, you can make the loop as big or as small as you like. That is borderline where I like it. It's a little bit smaller than my other ones, but that will. Do you find I think just rivet the ribbon. There you go, just a bit tidy up. Just now straight. So now what we're gonna do is just straighten up the rest of it. Just gonna use the flat of the anvil. Just trying to keep that taper nice and flat on the anvil whilst just rolling it round. A few light love taps <laughs> just to make it as straight, as perpendicular, and as lovely as possible. Now, the argument is oh, it's an icicle, it doesn't have to be perfect because icicles aren't perfect, sometimes they aren't perfectly straight, but it's always nice when you've got a nice straight piece. So that looks pretty good to me. So now, I'm just going to hold, hold, I like to, when I quench small things such as this, what I like to do is just hold it with a pair of pliers or something, just to holding that join uh, together there, um, so that in the quenching there may be a possibility that they come apart, but it completely discards that possibility. So now we're just going to quench it and have a look. Right, so here is the icicle here. I quite like this loop at the top, that penny scrolls around. Um, and the taper seems to be quite a nice steady taper going all the way down. So, what we're going to do now is heat it and then coat it in vegetable oil. Just give it a nice solid coating through there. Then we can put a ribbon on it and then it shall be done. Alright, so we've got oily rack here, coming with vegetable oil. And we're just going to oil this icicle up, clean off. The footage didn't pick, the, um, didn't pick up, I don't know why, didn't save the footage. Set the footage so clean it up, let the brush off. Now we're just oiling it. You could use linseed oil, um, I'm using vegetable oil because it's nice and cheap. There you go. 
That is our ice cream all done. That's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed just a nice little Christmas video for you there. Um, and also a nice Christmas uh, decoration present sort of idea here. Um, just nice, something nice and basic just to get your teeth into. If you're starting out perfect, um, a nice little project for you. If you're a little bit more advanced, then have fun. <laughs> have fun anyway. Comment what you liked. Any future projects that you'd like me to uh, maybe attempt, please put down in the comments below. Like if you liked the video. Share this video with your friends if you liked it. And please hit the subscribe button just under the video or in the bottom right corner and turn notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos. And I shall hopefully see you in the next video. Merry Christmas everyone. Bye bye.